If you just started playing Beat Saber, you'll probably agree. It's a lot of fun. It combines coordination, physical exercise, and dancing around to music. You may have noticed that it gets quite challenging as you begin to grow out of the easier levels, which is why I made this video. Coming up, I'll be sharing 10 tips I've learned that have helped my gameplay. I'm far from perfect, but I credit what I can do now in part to some of these tricks. Starting with tip number one, follow one color. This tip I put first because I find myself doing it almost every time I play a difficult map. The original tip stated you should focus on the color assigned to your dominant hand and the other hand will instinctively know what to do. I tried this and it turns out there is some truth to it. If you try to blindly sight read all the notes at once, you risk getting overwhelmed and making mistakes. Focusing on one color makes it a little easier for your brain to translate. If the map has good flow, your other hand will be in a good position to hit the notes you aren't directly reading. Next, try focusing on the other color and try the song again. Several games later, I found it much easier to play. This wasn't a quick fix, but for me, it was a noticeable improvement. Tip number two, most maps have good flow. You'll hear Beat Saber players talk about the flow of a map, which is defined as the following. Note patterns that focus on smooth, natural movements. The hit direction should allow your arms to follow through on a note, then have your saber in a position that will meet the next note comfortably. Once you understand that most maps will allow your arms to move in a way that makes sense with natural, comfortable movement, you'll begin to rely less on sight reading and more on going with the flow. No pun intended. Eventually, you won't even be thinking, okay, this next note, I need to cut left. You'll just cut left. As you practice, don't overthink your maps or hyper-focus on the little arrows in the cubes. Just move. You'll be surprised at your own muscle memory over time. Number three, find what part of the music the notes are following. Is it the upbeat, downbeat, lyrics, or some other sound? Different parts of the map might follow different parts of the song. Try to identify what the notes are syncing with and you can better anticipate the timing of the next note. Mod maps are another animal you have to be mindful of. Since custom maps can be freely produced by anyone, you're relying on the rhythmic skills of the map maker to guide you through the song, hopefully with some understanding of both flow and timing. In some cases where the notes genuinely did not match the music, I kind of permanently put that song aside. There are some bad maps out there. Be careful not to waste your energy on one that might be slowing you down. Tip number four, don't pay attention to the leaderboards and other Beat Saber streamers. This includes me if you find my videos discouraging in any way. For some, seeing skilled players when we are struggling can dampen our motivation. Two things to keep in mind when you are in the baby stages of gameplay. First, this is obvious, but bears repeating. The people you see hitting the tops of those leaderboards have put time towards their hobby. Maybe they started when Beat Saber first came out and you just purchased it for your quest two a month ago. Maybe this is what they do full time and you only play after work or on weekends. Like anything else, Watching someone seasoned in their craft can be both motivating and discouraging. If your scale starts to tip more towards discouraged, time to close YouTube for a bit and regroup. The second thing to remember is, everyone learns at a different pace. There will be people who are just better at beat games or have better hand-eye coordination. My sister Mia has always been better at beat games. From DDR to 2DX to Guitar Hero, Rock Band. When it came to beat games, I never developed skill as fast as she did, and that was okay with me because I loved playing them. So I'll say the same for you. If you have to put in more work, but you are still having fun, great. If you aren't, take a break. Ask yourself if continuing to play is worth it if you know you might have to invest more time. But above all, don't let comparison discourage you. I guarantee there is something you have a proficiency for that others wish they had. So play on, have patience, and don't worry about high score chasers. Number five, play a song you enjoy listening to. I find it difficult to play a song over and over if I don't genuinely enjoy the song. When I took piano lessons at a very young age, I found it really hard to concentrate when it was a piece of music I didn't like. I ended up teaching myself things that sounded nice to me. I learned much faster when I was studying what I wanted to study. Find songs you would listen to outside of Beat Saber. Say, something you would put on in the car on repeat. Start there and play whatever difficulty you can pass. If you need to play the song on normal instead of hard, do it. The object here is to just get game time in and have fun. In doing this, we are in fact practicing without making it feel like practice. Once you go back to that challenging part in the song you were trying to pass, you could very well surprise yourself. Number six, record yourself and watch the footage. 
A piece of advice I heard when trying to learn bass guitar was to record myself playing, then go back and listen to the recording. You'll learn a lot in those moments when you're analyzing yourself from the outside in. When watching my game playback, I found I would slow down the video when I saw a miss to see how I was missing these notes. Something I realized was I would hit the notes very close to the inside. Some of them I would miss entirely even though it didn't feel that way at all when playing. You can record yourself using the Quest 2 recording feature, which is built in and user friendly. Or because I play through my PC, I use OBS. It's free and efficient. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. Before I bought the Index, I blamed the tracking of my Quest 2 for my missed notes. I thought, once I get base station tracking, that'll fix it, and I'll hit all these notes I'm missing because of this stupid tracking system. Which turned out to be an embarrassing realization of, oh, it was just me the whole time. I probably would have never known had I not seen it in my videos. 7 and 8 go hand in hand. Number 7 is, experiment with the way you grip your controller. There are lots of people who hold their VR controller in a non-standard way that best suits their playstyle. For instance, for the index, I find I use the stick grip. It helps with freeing up my movement a bit more when playing Beat Saber. I am currently working on the claw grip since it's actually helped me out in a couple maps. If you feel the way you hold your controllers limits your movement or, worse, if you're in pain or fatigued after a play session, you should consider how you are gripping your controller. Of course, if pain is involved, please leave this video and see a doctor. Number 8. Adjust your controller settings. If you change up your grip, you'll probably want to change the orientation of your sabers in-game. This was helpful for me even before I changed my grip, since as I stated, I tend to hit more on the inside of the blocks. So to compensate, I would tilt my sabers slightly outward. To tweak your controller settings, you can access the option from your Beat Saber settings menu. Additionally, you can have even more options with the Saber Tailor mod, which will allow you to customize both functional and some cosmetic saber attributes. Saber Tailor will also let you adjust each saber's angle and position individually, as opposed to the game's menu, which will apply all settings to both sabers. I highly recommend playing with this feature to refine your swing. Tip number 9. Don't ignore the practice feature. Slow down part of a song and play it in practice mode. I'll be honest, even though I made a video about this, I only slow down a song if I'm really stuck on a particular part. Slowing down a song can break the notes up for easier digestion so you can master that section. Most Beat Saber maps are just groups of patterns. Once you understand the pattern, you've got the hard part out of the way. The rest is repetition and practice. And last but definitely not least, number 10. Utilize no fail mode. When you are in a game, there's an energy bar at the bottom of your screen that depletes when you miss a note. Energy is recovered by hitting notes correctly. Once you're out of energy, you fail the level. The song grinds to a stop and you are given the option to replay the song or go back to the main menu. If you are trying to learn a map, this system can prove more inhibiting than anything else. Enabling no fail will allow you to play through your energy depletion. Instead of halting the song, failing is indicated by a red streak of light going across your screen. Your point accumulation will be halved, but you will still be able to play the entire song. This is a great way to study parts of the level blocked off by a difficult section. Using no fail helped me better anticipate the tough spots, and I can practice accordingly. I've seen people talk about the no fail feature like it's a cheat, which makes little sense to me since you take a hefty penalty for failing. But for practicing a song, it can be a very useful tool. And I have one last tip as an honorable mention. A commenter suggested to play a song at 2-3 times the speed, then slow it down and play it on normal speed. I'm guessing what this would do is train your brain to play the song at a higher difficulty, so when you go back to the normal speed, it seems easier in contrast. This was something I actually never thought of doing and sounds smart in theory, but I didn't add it to the official list because I haven't tried it myself. I think it's an awesome tip though, which is why I wanted to mention it. If anyone has tried this with success, let me know. So those were the 10 most useful tips off the top of my head that I personally try to use when I play. I hope at least one helps your game or motivation. Consider subscribing if you'd like to discover fun custom maps, chill and watch VR gameplay, or help your Beat Saber game. Thanks for checking out my video, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night, friends.